from <laughs> truly the only thing we need now to complete this is the Ula guys, the Ula guys. <laughs> and um i'm zulika you know how to talk for a while i'm gonna have you come up here and i'm gonna go i found a number i'm gonna go call them but don't put on the headphones because okay. they're really loud so everybody okay. can hear so just mm. it, include everybody in your conversation okay. and talk about Young Living okay. and ULA, Ula. and okay. about the thing coming up on Saturday. Can I say right. something before? Please. Just that I think is important about ULA. Um, the fact that they're changing it, the world with a word, that they're collecting a million dreams on a 1970 VW bus. Talk about that VW for a little bit. Bus, That's perfect. And that Wonderful. their goal is to have it in the Smithsonian. But the, okay. they say that the balance, mm -hmm. they wrote a book called Finding Balance in an Unbalanced World. Yeah. And the balance that they focus on is in seven areas. And they yeah. call it the seven F's. Yeah. So the F's are fun, friends, family, finance, fitness, faith, and field. Okay. And I always feel very accomplished when I say that right. from beginning to end without, <laughs> exactly. okay. So I know I'm an You did a great I'm, job. I'm, thank you. I know I'm an Ula girl, right? Mm -hmm. Um so I just want to explain that because that's kind of the premise. Yes. Okay. Yes, and that's what ULA is based on. It's teaching people that balance. And but In an tell more world. about right. Tell more about the bus though, because that's really important. Oh my goodness! So the dream the bus. bus uh, yeah, I'm part of the dream team. Oh um, yay! Yeah. So so it was in a weak moment that I thought I could collect a thousand dreams. So thank goodness Deborah's helping me with a hundred, and we've already okay. collected some today. Yeah. Um, but they're going to all the states, and, and, and when you put, they're collecting these dreams, so they're on different, there's, I don't know, over 20 levels okay. of dreams, and so the energy of that, can you imagine? So people right. are, like, coming and saying, like, they want to, their fitness, they want to lose 90 pounds, mm -hmm. and they are. Mm -hmm. And the ULA guys, like, they're always, on, they're always doing Facebook Lives. We should talk about Ula Guru and Ula oh. Seeker. Yeah. So the Ula Guru yes. talks about like Money Monday, and he's mm -hmm. so good with money and numbers. Mm -hmm. And then the Ula Seeker, you you might want to. Do you know that story? No, okay. not not as well as you do. I'm story? sure. Yes, tell me okay. the story. Right. So the story was um, in this version that I, you know, they two chiropractors mm -hmm. and had a really good practice, and the Ula Guru owned the owned the practice. Okay. And he took on this apprentice which became the Ula Seeker. But they were just, they worked very well together, got very close, and they really were very successful. Okay. And then at 42, the Ula Guru's Dr. Troy, he sold the practice. He was oh. debt-free, doing very well. He's a beautiful home in Arizona. He has a lake house in Minnesota, and I think a third home in, like, somewhere really exotic, like Bali or something. I don't know. It never comes up. Okay. Dave, Dr. Dave, who was also doing very well, kind of lost his ULA principles. And mm. one night, he found him, he actually was losing his wife, his house, his car, he was driving like a beater, right? Okay. He had everything going for him. Wonderful kids, wonderful wife, wonderful home, all of that, all the toys. Mm -hmm. But he lost his way. So he was actually staying in a motel. Okay. And he woke up in the middle of the night one night to the police knocking on the door next door. We're talking about the story the of Dave. Ula. Yep. Oh, mm -hmm. Dave. Okay. Yeah, and so, and then, um, and this guy, they were just like busting this guy next mm -hmm. door. And he's thinking, what am I doing here? Yes. So he called his buddy, Troy, and he said, you're not going to believe where I'm at. Oh. And he said, it's where you're at. It's not who you are. Mm. So he, he, he encouraged him to go to the mountains and actually okay. to where he loved. And he did a lot of his best thinking there. And he okay. did. And they met, they used to meet in Vegas like every year to go over their their. Ula, their seven oh. Fs for their goals. So they would go to the Hard Rock, I guess, and okay. that, so they met there and they wrote this book, okay. Finding Balance in an Unbalanced World. So then, Troy, Dr. Troy became the Ula uh, Guru, and Dr. Mm -hmm. Dave became the Ula Seeker. Seeker. But they right. are amazing. Yes, like um, they are. their Facebook lives. Like Dave is talking about life. He's divorced. He's single. Uh -huh. um, and how they share on their Facebook lives is so authentic. And I know I heard that you discovered them before you were even part of Young Living. Mm -hmm. So it's b I think before they were part of it too. How long have they been? No, well, no, it's been a while now. Yeah, they, 
Well, I don't know. I mean, if, if well, they no, wrote the, the book. Yeah, remember that story? Mary so read they, the book on the plane with Gary. Yes. She found the book, so yes. somebody gave her the book. Yes. And she told Gary, that's oh, my goodness, right. you got to read this book. Yeah. I don't know what year that was, but she that's the story I heard. It was in 2012 they okay. published yeah. the and book. And then they contacted them from that to partner said, with Young need, Living. He said our members need oil. Yes, so yes, they started exactly. With ooh, it was before that that I... Oh, cool. Or it cool. might have been right at, right when they were. That's amazing. Start, yeah, because mm-hmm. I wrote my book in 2012. It was published in 2012, and it was, in fact, two weeks before theirs. Isn't that funny? Oh. And I was listening while I was writing my book, so it was before their book was actually published. Okay. So 7 7, July 7th, is now going to be International Ula Day. Yes. And I oh, started a subscription. Wow. They came out with a tea mm-hmm. that is yes. very high quality and uh, a, a subscription for uh, $29 a month. But we, but new members to the subscription could get it for $7.77. Right. So I signed oh, up. Oh, my and, goodness. And Saturday. I'm very excited. If I had it, I'd bring it and share it with you. <laughs> I ordered some stuff that day, too, because everything was $7.77. <laughs> yes. That's awesome. Yes. Good. Very cool. Well, I did um, call the lady that arranged everything, and it is on their schedule, but she thinks that they might not have looked at their calendar this morning. Or they have a bad connection? Mm. Mm. I don't know. The call would still come in, Are though. three hours behind? So, but she knows it's Eastern. Okay. And they are in the Midwest right now because oh. they're going to be in Cleveland after they leave here. They're going to be in Ohio. So they okay. thought they had nothing on. So we'll we'll see. She's trying to reach them right now. So okay. we'll just keep Ula conversing, yeah. and um, and then when they come in, we'll just patch them. So keep going. Well, just their lives. I think keep them keep it real. You know, at first, yeah, for sure. it was like, it felt like fluff. Everything feels like fluff to me until it there's does, death. It does, yes. And then they speak to real life. They do. And, and they're very transparent. Cause every time I see them speak, I, I felt like, oh, my goodness, they're so real and down to earth and relatable. And they mingle with the audience. And even when they're done speaking, they just become part of the group and share and still talk to people every i've seen them speak three times now and every time it's the same it's so young Mm -hmm. living like you know i went to talk about young living it's like there's branches Mm -hmm. it's almost like when you when you introduce people to young living it's almost like taking them on a journey that they can't believe is real like very much you know we're around people that are really truly into wellness really truly have a purpose really truly are living abundantly and or at least have the access to it and there's a personal growth from just experiencing the people and the culture, let alone the oils, our own experience. So, we, you know, we have a pretty good thing going on globally. Right. And the fact Absolutely. that Ula is bringing us together um, from a heart center, like I'm yeah. a head-centered person. Yeah, and have, like, made us part of their movement, too. Very right. much right. so. Very it's just phenomenal. So. I'm, That's I'm really, in. really good. I, I know. I'm yeah. sucked in. Right. Very much so. I and you know that to add to what you said that about the people that are involved in Young Living, they also are very like Marty, want to help other people, and yeah, and the fact that I mean, look at the people in this room. Look that's around. True. Yeah, I, that's I would have no other people <laughs> in this room. I mean, these are good, mm-hmm. wonderful people right. that are um, not only supportive. One of the things that. Uh, that I that I wish part of my movement is dedicated to women working together. Yes. And without jealousy, without mm-hmm. um, really without any competition. Yes. And that's here. Yes, absolutely. And that's Ula. Mm-hmm. So yeah. Ula. And they talk about things being mm-hmm. Ula or, oh, how about the um, Ula blockers and Ula enhancers? Oh, oh I love that's those. Good. I yes. love it. So, you know, and it says what it uh, says. Yes. You know, it says what it, says what it means. So it's true. So. I'm, let's save that in case they okay. do call in. You know All what? Right. And even if they call in late, we're, we can keep talking until 6 o'clock tonight. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what? If they don't, we can get a new date. That's right. We yeah. That's true. So um, the ULA challenge, 
I oh, loved yeah. it, and and I it's hear, also it. so devolutionary. Okay. I mean, I it was almost like I sat down and made this list. It was, really? Yeah. Okay. I would share. have maybe worded things differently, but it's very diva. Very okay. Diva. Okay. The first one, the first day is a random act of ula. Do mm. something nice. I am. I I knew I wasn't going to be able to read that. I am sharing the smile you gave me. Was that? Oh, isn't that cool? That is. I love that. And so often I talk about what is the one thing that you can give away that cheers people up that doesn't cost you anything and mm-hmm. you have an endless supply of. That's true. A smile. Smile. Right. <laughs> Number two was walk or run. This I really like this. The theme was exercise your body and your mind. Mm-hmm. And it was walk or run for seven minutes. There's that seven again. Right. And come up with seven things you like about yourself. Oh, very seven nice. Seven things. And Talk I wonder how many people had a hard time with seven things. I did. You did? I did. Hmm. I came up with three right away. Okay. Called a friend. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. <laughs> yes. Huh. And I had to really... Focus on, like, I had to look around. Okay, mm-hmm. I like my hands. <laughs> <laughs> I really had to look oh, around wow. to come up with those You're really ones. good at picking glass frames. I noticed that. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Oh, that's eight. <laughs> cool. Thank you, Let's Terry. get to 14 now. We needed an increment. Seven. <laughs> right. That's right. Okay, the next Do one, and I loved this one, too. I really loved all of them. Hey. Welcome to Diva Dialogue. Is this the Ula guys? Hello. Hi there. Yay! It is the Ula guys. Hey. You. How I, I don't are know you? if this counts for yay. It is since it's yay. There's 26 minutes late, but we'll go with it. You know what? That we just finished talking about. It, it doesn't matter how late you were because it's my radio station, and we can talk as long as we want. <laughs> Oh, there we go. We're perfect. We nailed it. <laughs> you did. So welcome to Diva Dialogue, and I'm so happy to hear from you. We were just talking about um, synchronicity a little bit earlier, and uh, I I did the ULA challenge, which is what we were just talking about, and today was my 21st day. Oh, congratulations. You're just finishing it up. Yes. Yes, and I loved it. Thank you so much. So where are you guys right now? Well, right now we're both, uh, Troy's at his lake cabin up in uh, Minnesota, and I'm uh, back home in Salt Lake City, but we're going to be joining the bus on Friday. So that's actually what we were just planning out is our tour. We're going Flint down through Detroit um, and down through Ohio. So that's actually what we're just planning this week. Excellent. And that's where we're going to see you in Frankenmuth. I know. I know. That's going to be awesome. It is going to be awesome. I can't wait. And um, if I was in Ohio this weekend, I'd go again because I'm down there a lot because that's where I'm from. That's going to be really fun because we had our tour planned to go through Columbus. And on our, on our last trip, it went through St. Louis and ended up in Columbus. And we actually had to cancel the first uh, book signing at a Barnes & Noble ever. Uh, um, we've never canceled one, but we were canceled to get back for Gary Young's funeral. He's the owner of Young Living oh, Essential right. Oils. Yeah. And uh, so now we had to go back and try to get back into Columbus. So we we're just able to get a book signing scheduled there. Excellent. Um, so we're very fortunate for that. So that'll be fun. Yes, very good. So we kind of talked about your history a little bit, um, but there's nothing like hearing it from you. What brought you two together? Um, yeah, you might not even know this because a lot of this isn't in the, one of the books unless you've heard us speak before. We don't even talk about this that much from stages, but uh, I was actually uh, in chiropractic school, and I was in my last year. Uh, it's a seven-year program. In your last year, you do a residency or an internship, and I, I talked to my advisor, and I said, I want an internship with someone who's going to obviously teach me how to be a good doctor, but I also want to just be with a good guy who's going to teach me about life and business and, and someone I'm my my personality is going to work with and they said there's this guy about 90 miles away um his name is troy omdahl and he would be a great fit for you like your personalities will line up perfectly 
And I was like, okay, I'm interested. I'll drive down and do an interview and check it out. So I drove down, met with Troy, and we just hit it off. And I kind of knew that this is the guy I want to work with and learn from. And it, it, I just didn't know how to do it, though. We had one car. I already had three kids and all this stuff. So Troy's like, we'll figure it out. He let me use a minivan, like an old minivan, that <laughs> like a beat-up old minivan, like a dive <laughs> minivan from like his brother's dealership some trade in and it was just, it was it was back in the day you know and i pretty much drove down there